Message from the angels. Love now in the eternal flow. Channel and Albers. My dear friends, we love you so very much. There is no race to a goal. There is no finish line to your soul. There is no point at which you will ever stop wanting more. You are made of creative force of the universe, which lives within the flows through you. Creation happens through you. It will never cease. Watch the pure little ones. They want a toy so badly that they think of anything else. They'll get it, play with it a while, and they want the next toy. That's our consumer creators. Watch nature. The acorn wants to be an oak, and the oak wants to be an acorns. Nature never stops creating. Look at your own nature. You want something in your life. You get it, enjoy it, and then want more. You too always have the creative life force moving within you, calling for more. There is nothing wrong with any of this. It is normal, natural, and part of your essence to evolve, create, and expand love. You will enjoy a much greater quality of life. However, if you can enjoy the journey, celebrate the destinations when you arrive, and allow yourself the very natural tendency to look forward to the next destination. You are not ungrateful for what you have. You are creators and creators want to create. We want you to have all you desire in your 3D world. More importantly, we want you to enjoy your life in the process of attuning to love and allowing the 3D world to take shape around you. Most of you have had the experience of anticipating a vacation. You think about it, look forward to it, and plan for it. There is joy in the journey as you merge your thoughts with the future event. Then you go on your vacation and have a good time. When you come back home, you realize that you need something new to anticipate. This is life eternal flowing through you. The most alive people on your earth enjoy the process of creating. Whether they like cooking their dinner, keeping a beautiful home, scheduling lunches with friends, building companies, making art, or solving an engineering dilemma. They enjoy the process of getting healthier, losing weight, finding ways to make more money, connecting with spirits, growing a garden, learning to relax, or meeting new people. They anticipate their goals, look forward to them, celebrate every little win along the way, and enjoy their days. Of course, they experience a vibrational attunement to their dreams, which ensures their true fulfillment prophecy of success. The most unsatisfied people on earth refuse to be happy until the external world changes around them. They refuse to feel good about themselves until someone else loves them and proves they are lovable. 
They refuse to relax until the last bill is paid. They refuse to enjoy what life has to offer, now because their big desires have not yet arrived. Sadly, they experience a vibrational attunement to their lack, which creates a sad self-fulfilling prophecy as well. Your aliveness, health, happiness, abundance, and overall well-being come from pulling this creative life force through you. You do this every time you love anything or anyone. You do this every time you appreciate anything or anyone. You do this every time you dare to dream and anticipate a desire coming true. Be it something as simple as getting to an appointment on time or something as large as envisioning your child's happiness. You pull life force through you when you speak of anything that brings good feelings. You resist the unending stream and flow of life force when you remain stuck in anger, fear, or doubt. Brief bursts of feeling when not stuffed uncork the life force, but long wallows in powerfulness resisted. Even focusing on or talking about things that weigh you down emotionally creates resistance to this loving steam. Most of you alternate between the loving and resisting love countless times each day. It is part of the human condition. You don't have to be open to the flow at all times to have your dreams come true. You only have to be there more often than not. Consider this analogy. Imagine you have a car that drives forward with every good feeling thought. It goes backward with every bad feeling thought. If you have even a few more good feeling thoughts, you move forward. If you can enjoy the journey, the journey will progress quickly. If you have predominantly bad feeling thoughts, you won't get anywhere. If you get upset over not being at the destination, you will send yourself backward. The smallest choice to enjoy the moment in front of you gets that car moving forward and your life moving as well. The smallest choice to enjoy a moment activates the vibration of love within you. And right here and now, you can experience the love that you all seek. You are eternal souls. You intended to enjoy the process of creation. You intended to tune into vibrations of love along the way, thus anticipating, dreaming, attuning, and receiving. Even those of you who chose very challenging lives to advance your own growth into self-love or comparison knew that you could tune into loving vibrations and move through the tough stuff into a loving life. There is no race to the goal and no finish line for the soul. There are times you find yourself in creations you didn't intend. Stuck around people you're not particularly fond of, in a country you worry about, 
a body that isn't feeling cooperative. Or with a bank account, you can't quite reconcile. We are not suggesting you try to like the unpleasant situations in your life or settle for staying in them. We are suggesting that you look for what you can enjoy in a given moment because in the greatest scheme of eternity, the sooner you can attune to the vibration and feeling of love, the sooner your personal 3D world will begin to shift. As you grant yourself permission to feel good about anything now, you will begin to relax into your eternal journey. And the more you allow yourself to enjoy what you can now, the better your later will be. Grant yourself this grace, dear ones. Each moment in your eternal journey is rich with possibilities and opportunities for greater love. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels